Hey there. You're listening to Mad Chats with Black Girl YP. I'm your host, Jess D. And today is a blog post episode. These episodes are dedicated to those who hate reading, I get it, or those of you who don't have time to read. If you'd like to refer to this blog post, the link will be in the episode. Or you can go directly to blackgirlwhitegee.com and the episode title will correspond with the title of the blog post. So here goes. This episode is entitled Rant. Single men should take Zumba classes, and here's why. So before I read the, um, the post, I want to give a little bit of context. Um, so one, I have um, been a licensed Zumba instructor since um, 2011, I believe. 2011, 2012, one of the two. Um, and Zumba has kind of found it's way into my jujitsu in a lot of ways. Like number one, um, like, well now currently one of my, um, BJJ besties, Jay, or actually my BJJ bestie, Jay is also a Zumba instructor. So it's really cool to, you know, roll with her and like us beat each other up and then be like, Hey, did you see catch that new Zen choreo? And like, um, talking about music and stuff. So shout out to Jay. And she's like, she always listens. So I really appreciate you girl and Elise. Um, two, um, I will, when I, um, wrote this episode or wrote this episode, when I wrote this post, I was living in Shanghai and I was teaching at one of my, um, one of the schools that I, um, used to train at, like, so shout out to, um, War Zone, which became Absolute, which then broke off and became Bushido. So shout out to Salo um, for letting me teach. He was super, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like nice about letting me teach at um, within the gym before the classes started. So it was always a good time. Um, I'm gonna uh, add some pictures to my Instagram so you guys can see. And also, if you didn't know, follow me at Black Girl Whitey underscore BJJ. But anyway, so. Um, And the last context was um, that I wrote this when I was living in Shanghai. So I think I mentioned that, but just a lot of the stuff is going to um, be related to me living in Shanghai. But without further ado, here it goes. (laughs) Um, Living in Shanghai can be an amazing experience, but here's one complaint. As a single foreign woman living here, it can be quite difficult to meet people to date seriously. This doesn't count going on Tinder or Bumble, which we all know is where we get bombarded with requests for sex. Hashtag realities of singledom. In that case, then it's super easy. On the other side, my single male or male identifying friends who like women say they are having the same issues. They complain the girls only want to hook up or they don't meet the right kind of women to that share the same values. Also, I understand that when it comes to meeting people in bars and clubs, it can be daunting on both sides. Women dress up and make sure they look their absolute hottest just so someone can approach them. They see someone attractive and they try to get their attention by flipping their hair, smiling for for 0.5 seconds, and then they get frustrated when the guy doesn't approach. These dudes see these insanely attractive women and get intimidated and don't approach at all because of of the fear of their ego being crushed. But what if, just what if there was a situation where everyone could get together in a place where there was no pressure, just a place where you can go to have a good time and all the benefits of that good time lead you to meeting some cool people. For my jujitsu people, you might automatically be thinking, come on, that's a BJJ gym. Of course. 
And yes, of course, anywhere where there are awesome people coming together and doing something they love is a great place. But I want to advocate for my other fitness love. The answer to all to all the being able to meet people in a less intimidating way. Men going to activities where there are women, aka a Zumba class. I know this seems quite silly. And if you're reading this, you're probably thinking that I'm being extra or asking yourself, why would I embarrass myself in a Zumba class and dance around? But let me give you a little bit of perspective. And small note, this article article is directed towards the single men or masculine identifying people who maybe are trying to meet more people. Doesn't have to be for dating, but you never know who you meet when you put yourself in a different situation. Every time I ask my male friends to come to a Zumba class with me, they always tell me that they will be judged by their friends and the other people in the room. Those people in the room who happen to be mostly women. For those men who are hypersensitive or a little bit concerned about people questioning their sexuality, the concern is that people will think I'm gay, blah, blah, blah. (sighs) For those guys who um, are concerned about people looking at you or people questioning your sexuality, I just want to say, who the F cares? First off, the people who are coming there are there because they want to get their own workout in and have their own fun. They aren't worried about you. Also, those people who make fun of you for dancing are just haters who try to bring other people down and maybe doesn't have the um, the gall themselves to try a Zumba class. Also, in addition, every time a man enters a room in, a, in my Zuma classes or in any Zuma classes, all the ladies are gathering themselves together, adjusting their posture um, to make sure the girls are popped off and that they look nice. I can't describe it through writing, but it's really funny to see some chick talking to her friend and getting a glimpse of a guy walking into the room and all of a sudden popping her booty and making sure the girls sit upright, as I just said. <laughs> Once you get over yourself, the instructor introduces themselves and the music starts. You're either concentrating on the steps or the feeling, the vibes of the class, or at least you should be. If you can't get the rhythm of the music, you should just be trying to sweat as much as you can so you can start to feel the workout benefits. If you keep going back to the class, which is the way you start to get to know everyone, Eventually, you get used to the playlist and the instructors um, and the style of teaching so you can get the steps and go through the motions. As you do that, take a look around you. And again, for you pervy people, not in a pervy way, but still. Everyone is having a good time. Everyone is enjoying themselves. Everyone is feeling confident. And there is something about people just, you know, moving their bodies. There are, there are so many different kinds of people of different shapes, sizes, colors, personalities, etc., etc. And you can always be around the kind of people you like to look at and get to know. Just depends on what your vibe is uh, in a dating and non-dating way, just even if you just want to make friends. Um, before the class and then between songs, giving your neighbor a high five or just making small talk is a great way to build up some confidence to talk to the mostly women of the class. From the other side, I think everyone loves someone with a lot of confidence. Um, Personally, I need to realize this for myself, but I'm not talking about me right now. And if you can cut a rug and really boogie, then the ladies are really going to be intrigued and you'll catch an eye or two. For the people who go to the bar or some clubs, how many times have you felt awkward or we're trying to talk to someone? Maybe you're smoother than most, but I think that 
um, some people aren't the best at these kind of social situations. Also, some people need to be insanely drunk or some people are just out um, as late as they can to find someone to go home with. These habits aren't the healthiest ones, especially if you're doing them every weekend. Um, and of course, no shade or judgments. It's just facts. Like if you're drinking a lot and if you're not getting good sleep quality, your health is going to decline. So again, do you, but just saying. Coming to a Zuma class gives you a new way to meet people naturally. People are always talking to each other and trying to get to know each other. I mean, yeah, you can think about the other parts, meeting people outside of class for a drink, so on and so forth. But in the end, you can meet a new person. Also, for those of you that like to work out and tend to do shy away from dance, cardio, or group exercise, your body won't anticipate the change in doing something different, which um, I know some people say that um, this is outside of the... The, the blog post, but I know people say there's no such thing as muscle confusion or whatever, but like how many times have you like, let's say you're a, I don't know, a runner or let's say you are a, yeah, like, yeah, you're a runner, right? And then you decide to change up your workout and do swimming. It's a different kind of cardio and a different way that you're moving your body. So your body is like, yo, what are we doing? This is like tiring because you're doing something new. And the more you do it, like the more your body like gets used to it. And, you know, it's a little way for, you know, your body to try to build up in a different kind of exercise. All right, back to the, to the article. But anyway, this is just my opinion for those of you who don't want to think outside of the box and have one idea of um, what Zumba is like. Yes, dancing is associated with being more feminine. Sure, sometimes you look silly doing it. Definitely, some people have their opinions of what Zumba is like and whatever. But if you're one of those people who want to try something new tired of doing the same stuff over and over again and want to give yourself an opportunity to meet someone new, be it in a, a significant other, like a romantic partner or new friends, come try a Zuma class. Okay, rant over. So um, my question for the week is, what other different ways have you thought of meeting someone new? Um, and as an addition, uh, what are for my jujitsu people? Um, have you tried Zumba before? Like, what's your opinion about it? Um, do we have like anyone that's like, you know, kind of like me and Jay team Zumba and team BJJ? Of course, as usual, please, um, message me on, um, Instagram at black girl, white geek underscore BJJ. Love to hear from you guys and, um, hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for listening and I'll catch you next time. Thank you so much for listening to this blog post episode of Matt Chats with Black Girl White Key. Remember, this post is available on blackgirlwhitekey.com in written form so you can get any links or anything you might have missed while listening. If you haven't done so, please subscribe and rate this podcast. It's much appreciated. Again, I'm your host, Jess D, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.